Jordi Shell, and I'm a creature and character designer. From my very earliest years, I, I knew that I wanted to do, to be involved in entertainment. Um, and uh, I knew I wanted to be involved in acting. I knew I wanted to be involved in uh, makeup or monsters somehow in film. Captured my imagination at a very, very early age. inspiration, my most profound early inspiration was uh, seeing The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad in a re-release in 1974. Um, I assume it was released at that time because they were trying to promote The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, which also came out uh, that same year. Um, and, you know, the monsters in that, the stop motion, Ray Harryhausen's design work, uh, just blew my mind. It was like something, nothing I'd ever seen before. In high school, um, even though I was a, a kind of nerdy kid who was into all this science fiction and horror stuff and makeup, I somehow managed to circumvent high school bullying, uh, which is a good thing. But I was, I was definitely a class clown. I was definitely, uh, you know, intensely creative, you know, and, and I, and I uh, my focus was very, very honed at this point. I knew that I wanted to be involved in monsters and creatures and stuff like that. And uh, even in elementary school, that was fairly obvious to me. But, uh, you know, uh, in high school, I, was, I, was, I, I wasn't an outcast. I had my friends. You know, I, I majored in drama in the, you know, the high school for the creative and performing arts. So um, art, art, while it was something I loved, you know, I, that was something I did at home when I got home. Um, but, you know, I, I, I would say my high school years were actually pretty good. I would say the biggest change, uh, the biggest transformation in cinema in general, let alone makeup, uh, is, is the advent of digital technology, obviously. Um, it's, it's taking over uh, a great deal of the work. Uh, animatronics are almost gone. The best of these directors that are around now uh, see the merits in utilizing both digital and physical effects. I think that leads to the most successful look. So in many ways, as far as what I do, which is creature design, the digital technology has empowered designers. We no longer have to worry about what will work within the confines of a suit or a makeup. Uh, we can design freely knowing that it can be done somehow. I, I, would, I would think that the things that make me angry are, are the things that uh, make most people <laughs> pretty angry. I, you know, I don't get angry when I see a caterpillar or, you know, hear the word planet or, you know, something. I, I you know, I, I don't like disrespect. I don't like rudeness. I, I, I have many millions of pet peeves, but one of the most recent is uh, people's inability to put down their cell phone. That drives me nuts. I definitely don't think I'm one of those, but I've definitely caught myself at lunch or dinner or something and just I check in and it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, nothing's that important on Facebook, you know? My fondest memory was working for uh, an Academy Award winning uh, artist named Steve Laporte. Um, he uh, is an extremely friendly, affable gentleman. He's extremely talented, knows his stuff. And uh, the opportunities he gave me there, we were working on a silly kid and play movie of all things. That brings back the early 90s. And uh, he allowed me, you know, not only did he, he like the work that I did, but he was, you know, he, he actually kept me on after to just make stuff. I mean, it was really like nothing else I've had in this industry. He kept me on just to make sculptures for him, monsters, aliens, whatever. And we did a series of little trolls and stuff. It was a great time.
I don't know, I think I'm fairly open about my desires for Charlie's Theron. I think, you know, I think even my wife knows. Um, I, don't, I don't really have a secret desire. Uh, I think my desires are fairly obvious, you know. I'd like to make enough money that I don't have to work for anyone else. Uh, you know, I'd like to have artistic freedom. Some years I work on nothing but film. Some years I hardly get any calls at all for that. And I just do collector work and, and, and things like that. So, uh, it, 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 it has seemed to, uh, last year and this year, seem to have been a fairly significant year for film work. Um, I've worked on quite a few things, none of which I can unfortunately mention right now, but I've worked on quite a few things. So it's difficult to say with any real accuracy what percentage of my work comes from cinema and what comes from other sources. 